Uh, okay, I'm I'm still in a lot of pain, you guys. I'm still in a lot of pain, but I am I am gonna actually like try and walk today. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try and walk today. But I gotta cover this video because it's so fucking funny. Hassan, holy shit, dude! You you do some really good stuff. You you do. I I, I gotta give you that. You, you, <laughs> you this guy. I don't know about, okay, so I don't watch Fox, I don't, um, I don't, mm, I don't do this, but this dude's voice is so fucking funny, okay, let's go. Is from, what's the name, Contagion, which is a really good movie, I watched it in the beginning of COVID, and the character here is a I've charlatan, never, a grifter, a snake oil salesman in the movie. I've never seen Contagion, I, I haven't seen it, but now that you're like put, pitching this out, I might actually watch it. I actually watch this. Holy crap. Contagion, and he's promoting an alternative <laughs> cure, so let's watch what he has to say. Ribavirin has been shown to be effective against this virus. Yet, Homeland Security is telling the CDC not to make any announcements until stockpiles of the drug can be secured. Well, Dr. Oh. Gupta, there continue to be evaluations of several drugs. Ribavirin is among them. Oh, Lord, but right now, guys. our best defense has been social distancing. <laughs> No handshaking, staying home when you're sick, washing your hands frequently. Let me bring in Alan Crumwoody into this debate as well. Uh, Alan's a freelance journalist. Uh, he was uh, the first to track the Shinko Busman video. Uh, Alan, uh, today on Twitter, you, you wrote that the truth about this virus is being kept from the world by the CDC, by the World Health Organization, to allow friends of the current administration to benefit from it, both financially and physically. Uh, there are therapies we know are effective right now, like for Scythia, <laughs> and they don't even appear on the CDC website. <laughs> on your blog, you all... Ivermectin, literally, hydroxychloroquine and ivermectin is for Scythia in this movie. Uh, so wrote that the idea. World Health Organization is somehow in bed with pharmaceutical companies? Because they are. Uh -huh. That's who stands to gain from this. They're working hand in glove. <laughs> so for the record... <laughs> <laughs> the, if you haven't seen Contagion, you definitely should. Okay. Okay. I, I'll check Contagion it out. I'll is check it out. straight up like a, a COVID pre-watch. When I first watched it, though, <laughs> all this been pre -watch, I, COVID pre-watch, you guys. Oh my God, this is our lives now. This is our fucking lives. <laughs> I can't even. By the way, um, I already did. I did some on Facebook on this. I did some Facebook. Uh, live streaming about this the deputy DA of oh god you guys the deputy DA of um, Orange County fucking died from COVID because she's an anti-vaxxer she was a year younger than me you guys she looked good she talked about walking blocks oh my god even, even dude she fucking died from COVID because she was following this GOP bullshit. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. She fucking committed suicide by um, not getting vaccinated. It's so crazy, you guys. I can't. I mean, mm, okay, 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 okay. I remember watching it like as soon as COVID popped up. As soon as, as okay. while like COVID yeah. was popping off. Technical when I first awesome. watched it, I thought no one is as crazy as this character, <laughs> and I was fucking wrong. I'm here to admit that Contagion had the, oh the God, is it Jude Law? Is that his name? <laughs> Jude Law's character in Contagion, I thought, was too far-fetched. I was incredibly wrong. I was like, yeah, no one is going to fucking so chill wrong, an dude. alternative cure that, like, actually has staying power so in our mass consciousness. No fucking shot. Anyway. Authoritarianism yeah, right. and American politics for me. The only uh, problem with... Uh, I'm not going to give away the end, okay? Just watch the whole thing. Many years, and we thought that made him the perfect person to assess COVID policy in the first days of a new year. Glenn Greenwald joins us. Yeah, bro, oh. Brazil. Uh, a, a guy in Brazil <laughs> is the perfect person to talk about COVID policy. <laughs> Motherfucker, what's happening in Brazil? It's like the only country on this side of the fucking world that is doing just as poorly as we are. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Tonight, Glenn, thanks so much for coming on. Do you think... These superstitions can continue. It's really remarkable how so long into the universal availability of COVID vaccines, which we were constantly told we were supposed to celebrate and oh, even venerate, good. that it was the way out of the pandemic. Everybody can get vaccines if they want. There's increasing calls for even greater repression on our lives, greater calls for vesting the state with more and more power. Why would that be? 
I think fear is an extremely powerful human motivator and demagogues in government know how to stimulate it for their own power. But I also think that with social media, the more people are constantly feeding on stories about how they should be frightened. What the hell even, Glenn? Oh, my God. This guy is like, what the hell? They're feeding. What is up with your voice, dude? You, I, I mean, like, I analyze this sort of shit, right? Ah, uh, Glenn has a really weird voice, you guys. I didn't even realize that was Glenn when I was, like, watching it the first time. <laughs> oh, my God, even. Glenn is horrible, you guys. He's, he, he is. He's, he's, he is literally, like, one of those um, gays for Trump kind of guys who's just like, well, I don't, you know, I don't want to pay taxes. So. <laughs> Such an asshole. Oh my God, Glenn, you you fucked over the planet so hard. I can't even. Oh my God, we are people are dying. People are literally fucking dying, and uh, we just we just lost our deputy DA because she was just stupid enough to listen to you and your bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if she listened to you specifically, but like she bought into this QAnon bullshit. <laughs> so dumb. Oh my god, we just lost our deputy DA, you guys. <laughs> The more this fear is intensifying, and I think there's almost like an addiction, Tucker, to being protected by the state, to not having to return to normal life. There's a desire for the pandemic to continue, even though the acute dangers have long since passed as a result of numerous factors, including a less threatening... How did I miss this? How did I... How did I miss this about his voice? His voice is so fucked up, right? Like, his voice is so fucked up. How did I miss this about Glenn Greenwald? I guess I just really uh, was not paying attention, right? Like, I wasn't paying attention. His voice is so fucked up, you guys. <laughs> and the availability of natural immunity mm. and vaccines. And it's really disturbing mm. to see disturbing. how the repression is increasing even as the threat decreases. Right. Th there is... Bro, <laughs> the oppression is increasing. The government is supposed to do government things when the people are unfortunately wow. too stupid to do the fucking smart thing okay. for their own good, okay? That's why we have seatbelt laws. That's why we have laws against drunk driving, okay? I'm sorry, but your fucking idiotic libertarian point of view oh, does not fucking work in this circumstance. It is the exact same energy as claim. Hassan, thank you so much for calling him out as a libertarian because this dude tries to act like he's on the left and you see he's not on the fucking left. He's, he's not on the left. Holy shit, even. You're right, he's a libertarian. Think that drunk driving laws are actually a form of oppression, okay? Technically, wow. everything that the government does is a little authoritarian, okay? It's exclusionary for, yeah, the, for the most part, I mean, but they're doing that. <laughs> of course it is, because that's fucking, <laughs> of course it's authoritarian. That's leadership. That's like, I mean, that that is the unfortunate thing about, like, having people in charge is that it feels oppressive because, like, there are people in charge. That is what fucking... <laughs> <laughs> because there's a utilitarian purpose for it that's why we have age of consent laws that's why we punish oh, people Lord. for trafficking uh, uh child pornography things like that for obvious reason okay <laughs> for good reason and also for glenn greenwald to say that the government has increased the oppression in this circumstance at a time when the cdc very yeah. famously said yeah, fuck it, dude. If you got COVID five days later, just walk out. You know, just wear a mask. Be sure to wear a mask, but you know. Oh, I know. They literally just threw us to the wolves. They literally just fucking threw us to the wolves because of because they just want to fucking make a profit. And they just, like, fucking threw us to the wolves. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can't even. I can't. You should probably be fine. You don't even need to get fucking tested for it, okay? The, the idea that the... Government is increasing oppression oh, at a time when, like, the Lord. CDC is straight up saying, take it on the fucking chin. Who cares? We're all going to get fucking Omicron anyway. GG's yeah, is additionally idiotic. Oh, is God, God. a hint every day in the news of the increasing militarization <laughs> of our response to this COVID uh, pandemic. So you just saw the...
The people working hardest to make their pandemic permanent are the ones using their platforms to insist that even oh the most non burdensome public health measures are an intolerable violation. By the way, I fucking love the way you captioned this. Glenn, what are you saying? <laughs> I love the way you captioned this. Oh, yeah, he's crazy, dude. He's so crazy. I can't even. Okay, let's go. Let's go. One of our precious freedoms. That's a really good fucking take. Holy shit. The governor of Connecticut call up the National Guard to distribute COVID. Are grifters still pushing ivermectin or did time pass like hydroxychloroquine? No, it depends on the fucking seasoning of, of grift. What? Some grifters still <laughs> actually do that. Some grifters are still pushing ivermectin wait, and hydroxychloroquine. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, a lot you gotta explain that to me. The seasoning of grift? Like, wait, what is that? The seasoning of grift? <laughs> did you even just say it? it's fine i can't even with this oh god i gotta like i gotta take some tylenol dude i gotta fucking walk blocks today oh my body hurts all right let's go a lot of grifters still push uh, uh ivermectin i think the difference <laughs> is now we have like monoclonal antibodies and like new new kinds of drugs are coming out for treatment of covid like the pfizer pill you know that's it's you know, the yeah, even like when I did that interview with Trevor Fitzgibbon earlier this year, like he was talking about there being some like new treatments coming out that like can at least help you get through it. Because there are the, he, he had a fair point that there are some people who can't get vaccinated because of whatever, you know, like it is a tough vaccination. I think those of us who have had it at this point, we realize it's like it's a hard vaccination. It's like the most impactful vaccination we've ever had in our lives. Like it, it, it hurt when we took it. Right. For most of us, I think most of us had some level of side effects. Um, it was tough, but at the same time, we're trying to save humanity. We're trying to, um, protect life and make sure we don't fucking die, you know, <laughs> because the dumbasses out there that won't do anything, they are dying. And we just lost our deputy DA in Orange County. You guys I can't even, you guys are so fucking stupid. Wow. Hopefully the <laughs> casualties are going to diminish. Supplies, the mayor of Washington just got full control of the National Guard of Washington. <laughs> Congressman from Texas was calling for FEMA to get involved in all of this stuff. What, I mean, should that make us nervous? Is it paranoid to think, yeah, wait a second, what the hell's going on? Yeah. How, how do you read those developments? I would really encourage people to go use Google and go back to the debate right <laughs> after the 9-11 attack when all of these radical proposals Oh my were God, Glenn, are you for fucking real? <laughs> for real? Oh, you should go use Google. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should go use Google. Okay, so now all of a sudden, you know, you've been for the last decade at least, right? Like you've been you've been out there telling us that we can't trust any media, and now you're just like, oh, just Google it <laughs> for real. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> introduced to increase, bro. This is so fucking gross. Comparing oh, yeah, the fucking yeah. mass hysteria <laughs> post 9/11 that led to like people getting fucking murdered because they looked Muslim. Yeah. Is the first first victim of a hate crime post 9-11 was actually a sick Sikh, yeah. sick person uh, um, no, by a white supremacist sick. piece of shit. Um, and, and comparing that fucking psychosis, that mass psychosis, that oh, like God, idiotic man. approach and the government's disgust. Oh, my God, even you're you're so right. Like I, I literally like look at this, uh, I went to Hollywood High, right? Like our um, our um, mascot was the six. I think it's pronounced that way, right? When 9-11 happened, um, I had a, um, a veterinarian that treated my animals back then who was a sick. And I was so fucking scared for him. I was so scared for him because I knew that he wore a turban and people were out there doing such racist bullshit. People were out there doing such racist bullshit because they were so pissed off that 9-11 happened. Like, I remember even, like, going to um, Sing Sing, which was a dueling piano bar here in Irvine. It doesn't exist anymore, but, like, it did at the time. And um, Kevin, bless his soul, he's passed. He, he died in a car crash. 
Kevin Clover um, was doing towel head jokes back in 2001. And it was like, everybody was on board with this bullshit because like we were so mad that 9-11 happened and at the same time it was so fucking racist and I was so scared for my my veterinarian because he was a sick and yeah it's uh he he wore a turban god damn it was scary it was scary because there was like a, an amazing amount of hate crimes that happened after a 9-11 because people were so fucking pissed off that that happened Oh, okay. Think fucking actions in the aftermath of that, especially as like, you know, a a anti surveillance state libertarian like Glenn Greenwald, who's done a lot of work in that field, like recognized and good work in that field. Mm. Um, yeah, but he's crazy. taking that and then making that as a as a comparison to like post COVID or COVID lockdown measures is so psychotic, dude. This is the greatest example that Glenn Greenwald is a fucking charlatan of the highest magnitude uh, because he's yeah. devaluing all the good fucking work that he did because there's no shot, no fucking shot he believes that, like, mass... Doesn't it also, Hassan, doesn't it also kind of make you, like, rethink the work that he did? Like, how did he get his hands on that shit? Like, how did he, how did he do what he was doing? And was that... Um, because it seems like a lot of these motherfuckers who do this bullshit, it seems like they're kind of telling us their secrets by it, it's projection, right? Um, doesn't it make you wonder like how, how, how did he get propelled? Like, how did this happen? Because there's something very bizarre going on with Glenn Greenwald, right? Like there's something very bizarre happening with this dude surveillance on all muslims in fucking dearborn and like the torturing of muslim americans uh in a fucking CIA. Oh, not to men okay not even to mention like uh, all of the racism coming out of this motherfucker but also he's like he's like home he okay so he's not he's not homophobic because he is gay right but he is transphobic right he's seriously transphobic there's some weird shit going on with this dude a black side is comparable to a <laughs> in uh, did, Texas did you, did you being forced to wear a fucking yourself? mask when he walks over from the Applebee's hostess table <laughs> to the fucking table <laughs> is, is even in any way remotely fucking comparable, okay? That is <laughs> psychotic. <laughs> it is so disgusting, dude. Are you fucking insane? Shame on you, Glenn Greenwald. That is insanity, yes. dude. Oh, that is insanity. Dude, 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 are you watching me? Are you watching me? <laughs> I love it when I watch you guys and you, like, repeat shit that I say. <laughs> I love that so much. That really makes me flattered. Power in the hands of the government, like the Patriot Act. And the argument at the time was, oh, don't worry, these are temporary measures. They're only going to be in place for as long as is necessary to get this crisis, this emergency, under control. 20 years later, the Patriot Act is very much in place. Every four years, it's renewed without any opposition. Its uses and application have wildly expanded beyond its original intention. It's almost never used for terrorism. It's used for a whole variety of other means for the government to spy on its citizenry. When you start building these bureaucratic apparatuses that vest power in the hands of the state to control the lives of citizens in the name of some temporary crisis, it never is temporary. It I just want to remind you all that, like, this dude okay okay you can hear like the whininess of his in his voice right like you can hear you you can you can hear this i want to remind you that like he he wrote like a fucking crazy letter when he left um the intercept he wrote a crazy ass letter when he left the intercept that was like so whiny it was so bad it was so bad it was such, it was so bitter. It was, I can't, Greenwald. Wow, he's terrible. I, I kind of feel like, okay, Hassan, I kind of feel like um, you're killing him right now. I, I feel like he's done. I feel like, I feel like this is the nail in the coffin on Glenn Greenwald. Like his, his, his career's over. His career's over. <laughs> 
so fucked up. This is so funny. This is so funny. <laughs> never goes away. There's never a political motive to dismantle it. It will stick. It will. This is a classic fucking annoying Reddit debate lord approach, too. Because then he has an out, okay? He ultimately has an out. And the way that he described the situation, he can always say, God, I wasn't he, making that exact he's same comparison. But he's implying name. it, okay? <laughs> he's saying that uh, the surveillance apparatus could be used for any kind of issue. He never fully says it's being used for COVID right now in the exact same capacity. But he's heavily implying it. On the Tucker Carlson broadcast. <laughs> and that plays a role in Tucker Carlson's uh, overarching oh. argument that, like, the government is doing this against white people. They're coming after you. Okay? And the government is certainly doing this against anti-vaxxers, and they're coming after you. That's precisely <laughs> what he's playing the role of here. He's using the entire... Your pop culture references are so good, dude. <laughs> they're so good. <laughs> ...of his fucking... Journalistic integrity, or you know, now lack thereof, but the journalistic integrity that he once had and his body of work, which was actually fucking good until the past four years or five or uh, past two years, even uh, to justify the psychotic tinfoil nonsensical bullshit that Tucker Carlson spews on a regular basis. Oh, wow. So stupid. We'll just continue. <laughs> and even if there's a cure tomorrow for COVID, they'll just transform it into the Office of Infectious Diseases or the. Why? What? This is not true. Any <laughs> any know. moment where we have seen even a slight fucking change, like when the vaccines first came out, every fucking facet of government <laughs> was excited to unleash the public. OK, they immediately dropped oh, the restrictions. Why do they do that? Because no one wants to be fucking locked up. The oh restrictions God. were okay. immediately fucked. I'm gonna, I, you know what? I, I gotta, I gotta drop because I gotta like take a bath and start walking. Oh damn! Wow, <laughs> so good. That's so good. It's on. Oh my god. Okay. All right. I'll drop the link. I'll drop the link when I load this up. I, I will drop the link. So if you want to watch the rest of it, there's only like what a few minutes left of it. Um, but I do have to. I I gotta like get ready. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta start walking, you guys. <laughs>